Okay, we're getting a little squirrely today. We're at Ryman Gardens where there are a lot of trees and that means squirrels. So joining me is Jim Pease from ISU. And Jim, looks like you have a little friend here. This is uh, the fox squirrel, one of uh, four species of tree squirrels we have in the state, Liz. Uh, it's kind of a reddish color with a, a rufous tail. The other three species include the gray squirrel, the red squirrel, and the, the nocturnal flying squirrel. These squirrels are the, the most common ones you, you certainly see in uh, yards and gardens uh, in, in Iowa. They, they have uh, young in the, in the late spring and often will have a second litter. They're cavity nesters, so they live in those holes in the trees and then move out often to those summer nests, leaf nests that you see often in, uh, in, in trees around the state. They're lots of fun to watch. Lots of people mm -hmm. enjoy watching them, but they can be quite pesky. The damage they do can be quite extensive in some cases. Uh, in making those nests, they often chew off branches, and lots of those branches end up on the ground. Sometimes they'll they'll eat the bark off of a substantial portion of branches and, and girdle them, causing them to uh, to die. Uh, they will chew their way into uh, 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 garages and and uh, attics to find places to nest. They'll often dig bulbs in the garden that you've so carefully planted, and uh, sometimes they'll get onto wires, chew through them, and fry themselves, and maybe even cause a fire. Hmm. Now, is there any way to control them? Well, they're a hunted animal. They're a game animal, so they can be hunted in the fall and the spring. But, of course, city squirrels aren't hunted. Uh, so you can certainly live trap them and relocate them where that's legal. You can use some repellents, particularly those that have capsaicin in it as the active ingredient. Uh, you can cover those, uh, those beds with a hardware cloth so they can't dig into them. But keeping them out of um, uh, bird feeders, and that's a whole other story. They're, they're, they're kind of tough. Uh, they find a way. Yeah, they seem to have a mind of their own. They certainly do. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. If you'd like more information on squirrels, be sure to log on to our websites. For Gardening in the Zone, I'm Liz Gilman.